I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Einstein's photo th photon theory, okay? Um, and I pronounce it Einstein rather than Einstein because that's how you pronounce Einstein, okay? It's a German name. Um, but basically, this is the idea. We've already talked about Planck's idea that these that black body radiation is given off by um, these oscillating uh, hot objects, right? And Planck, in order to get his math to work, had to say that it was that the, the energy levels were quantized, sort of like the potential energy of these stairs, right? And that each of these steps was, was H times F, Planck's constant times the frequency of the oscillator, high, okay? Right? So, so, so in general, the energy was N, HF, or N is some integer, right? Zero or one or two or etc. Right? Okay. Einstein looked at that and said, "Of course, if that's the way, uh, if that's the way um, it is, then it, the energy released, if you go from this level to this level, the energy released is, of course, HF. And so the energy that's being released by these things is is quantized itself. It's actually a particle." Right? So photons is a, it's a corpuscular theory, right? Corpuscules are just uh, small bodies, right? Okay? Um, and so uh, this was, you know, kind of an interesting idea, right? So this is, this is uh, basically what Einstein proposed was that, that light is made of particles called photons, right? We represent them with a little thing like that, right? Okay? But we, we don't really know what they are, okay? But they're very much particles. Um, and the energy of them is equal to Planck's constant, right, times uh, the frequency of the oscillations, right? So, so photons have frequency, they have color, just like uh, the wave idea of light, right? And um, everybody thought he was mad because we had particle theories of light. They've been largely discredited. We, light obviously behaved like a wave, right? Um, so how could it be a particle? And of course, the answer to that is that it sometimes acts like a particle and sometimes acts like a wave. Light is this thing that's very hard to describe. Um, and so, you know, you need to let go of the notion that, um, that very, very small objects are going to behave like large objects, right? It's not baseballs and it's not, uh, it's not ocean waves and stuff like that, right? Okay, and that's, that's why quantum theory is really weird and hard to understand. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, of course, we're also going to use these equations here. We're still going to use this with photon theory. V is a lambda, right? And this one, okay? Um, and so let me, I'm just going to show you, walk you through some calculations here, okay? Um, I'm going to go to the next slide. You probably want to write these things down, right? <coughs> All right. So, so uh, here's our first question, right? What is the energy of a 460 nanometer photon, right? And I want to turn the energy into electron volts because when we, <clears throat> when we talk about photon energies, we almost always talk about energies in electron volts. Remember that one electron volt, okay, is the energy of one electron charge moved through one volt of potential. If you recall, uh, voltage is the change in potential energy divided by charge, right? So therefore, the change in potential energy is voltage times charge, right? And in this case, the voltage is the voltage through which it's been moved, right? In this case, one volt, right? And the charge is one electron, right? So therefore, an electron volt is the energy of one electron moved through one volt of potential, okay? One electron volt, remember conveniently, is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joules, and quantum mechanics, um, <clears throat> a joule is way too large a unit to, to use helpfully and handily, right? So we're always going to use electron volts, okay? So really what I want is what's the energy in electron volts, and that's, that's what I'm going to show you, okay? So um, let's see. Uh, I think the first thing is to use Einstein's equation. Use HF, right? Uh, remember that from this, if V is F lambda, then F is V divided by lambda, which for an electromagnetic wave is C divided by lambda, right? If I plug in C over lambda in for F, then I get H C over lambda, which was just a formula back in the, in, in the day, you know? I mean, 
That's where I would start. E is HC over lambda. Memorize that. This guy is going to be your friend. This is your F equals MA, right? So this is really easy. Um, I'm just going to plug in here 6.626 uh, times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. That's what H is, right? Okay. And then C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, right? And then we're dividing by... Um, we're dividing by 460 nanometers, right? So 460 uh, times 10 to the minus ninth meters, right? And then, you know, if you look at this, the meters goes the way of the bison, ta-da, the seconds and the seconds cancel, you end up with joules, right? So let's, I'm typing that into my calculator right now. Okay, 6.626 E minus 34, okay, times 3E8 divided by 460 E uh, minus 9, okay? And that is, the energy is equal to 4.3213 times 10 to the minus 19th. Oops, why do I write things like that? Joules, right? Okay, and then <clears throat> I want to turn this into electron volts, right? Okay, so you take joules and divide by this guy, right? So divided by whoops, 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th, and that's joules per electron volt, right? Okay, so I just take that, I'm going to go divided by 1.602 e minus 19, and I get uh, 2.697 uh, uh, electron volts. And so this is, you know, also very handy that, that uh, uh, 460, that's a pretty high uh, energetic, right? 400 would be the most energetic um, photon, right? Because the smaller the wavelength, the higher the energy, right? Okay, so um, that's about the range, right? It's a, a convenient number of electron volts. Um, and I guess we only have three sig figs, so we have to say 2.70 electron volts and circle it, okay? Also notice this thing, right, that as the, as the frequency gets higher and the wavelength gets smaller, right, the energy of the photons increases. This is why gamma rays are used to sterilize meat and, and ultraviolet rays, which are very short wavelength, uh, give you sunburn, but uh, visible light is not quite, which is a larger wavelength, right, is not quite as harmful. Okay, let's do another example here. Uh, I'm going to go to the next slide. Okay. There's the answer, I guess, right? Okay, so we're supposed to get 91.2. Let's see if we do, right? Okay, so a photon has an energy of 13.6 electron volts. Holy cow. Okay, that's going to be, uh, it's going to hurt us, right? That's a, that's a very small wavelength. It won't be visible to us, right? It's much higher energy. The other one was like, what, 3 electron volts, roughly 2.7, right? So what is its wavelength, okay? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is turn 13.6 electron volts. Right? I'm going to turn that into joules, right? So multiply by 1.602 e minus 19, and this is joules per electron volt, right? You got to know this back and forth. You can't think about conversions. You've just got to be able to know this stuff, okay? So 13.6 uh, times 1.602 uh, e minus 19. This is uh, 2.17872. 1.78.72 uh, times 10 to the minus 18th joules, right? Okay, and then uh, let's see if, uh, and now we want to solve for the uh, wavelength, right? Okay, so uh, to solve for the wavelength, I'm going to use uh, E is HF is hc over lambda, right? Okay, so therefore uh, lambda is hc over e, right? So it's uh, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th joule, sec joule second, not per second. Again, <laughs> ignore that, right? Okay, times 3.00 uh, times 10 to the 8th meters per second, right? Okay, divided by 2.17872 
times 10 to the minus 18th joules, right? And then let's see what the units do here. Uh, we're looking for meters, right? Uh, joules and joules go the way of the bison. We can cross those off, right? And then uh, seconds and seconds go the way of the bison. Looks like it's pre-crossed off, right? You end up with meters, right? So let's crank this out. 6.626 e minus 34, right? Uh, times 3e8 divided by the answer that I just got. So I'm just going second answer because I'm too lazy to type all that in. Okay. And I get the answer I get is 9.1237 times 10 to the uh, minus 8th meters, right? Which is equal to 91.2 times 10 to the minus 9th meters because of the way scientific notation works, right? which equals 91.2 nanometers. Wavelengths like this, wavelengths of light or whatever, almost always are in nanometers, energies are in electron volts, okay? Remember that electron volts times 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th, right, equals joules, and joules divided by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th, right, equals electron volts. So that's a handy thing, right? Remember that uh, 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 1 times 10 to the minus 9th meters is a nanometer, okay? So you should be good.